evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a rather bizarre evening. It is Sunday night, it's organ music night, and we are in the middle of carnival season here in Germany. Um, now, this part of Germany where we live, the Westerwald, is sort of a mixed bag. Um, some people love it and go crazy for it, and other people hate it and run away. Um, however, there is no escaping it. Last night, that, that, what I just played there, that was the first hymn during our church service last night in Herschbach. Herschbach is crazy for carnival, and they celebrate carnival in Cologne style. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just bear with me. Yeah? It's, if you go down to Rio de Janeiro at this time of year, it's, it's just an enormous carnival party. Yeah? Well, here in this part of Germany, and basically the Rhineland, sort of, if you follow the river Rhine up and down the country, you're pretty much going to find carnival at this time of year. And um, there are many, many, many wonderful tunes connected to carnival, most of them stolen from uh, traditional Scottish tunes, as we will hear very shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, good heavens, I'm dying. Um, <coughs> And like I said, last night in Herschbach, I think I actually have the order of service here somewhere. Um, do I have it here? Oh, I don't have it here. But yeah, the carnival music is a big thing. It's a really big thing. Years ago, I tried to get in to the carnival music scene. And over the years, I have written one, two, three, four, five tunes for carnival, one of which became quite famous. Um, and it was a tune I wrote together with a friend of mine from Bonn, who's sadly no longer with us. He died couple of years ago in, in, in the most weirdest of circumstances he just he just had sort of a bizarre accident and died but it wasn't uh, it's was just very weird uh, it wasn't very old the art by Matthias Butzinski the art by Butzi yeah he was only like mid mid 50s I think something like that and he just had sort of a, something went pop inside his brain and he um it just, just died instantly. It was frightening, really. And Matthias, that's his name, Matthias and I, we worked together on all sorts of projects over the years. And uh, we wrote a song together for Bonn, for the city of Bonn. And actually, let's play it. Um, I can't remember the words. Matthias was, for the wor he was responsible for the words, but I wrote the melody. Now, there are certain kinds of carnival tunes. Um, there are the ones that we just had like that, the sort of the old-fashioned march ones, where you sort of you march into a room waving around like that. Yeah, there's all the, sort of the processions. Um, and everyone sings along at the tops of the voices. And then you have the ones for slightly later in the evening, if you know what I mean, during the celebrations. And they're the ones where you're all sort of sitting together, stoned out of your brains, having had far too much beer to drink, and you all start sort of rocking about. The Schunkelleader, as they're called in German, where you sort of, you know, you sit and sort of sit in a... What's the, what's the word for that in English, when you're sitting in a, in a huge, big beer tent or a beer hall, and you're all singing sort of waltzy tunes and uh, swaying backwards and forwards like that. Well, anyway, anyway, this is one of those, and this was the one I wrote for the city of Bonn. And I think it's time we resurrected it because it's absolutely great fun. It's called the Bönsche Bimmel, um, which is, of course, a wonderful play on words if you um, know anything about colloquial German. And uh, the Bönsche Bimmel was describing, it was, uh, you have to be slightly political if you're going to write modern um, carnival tunes. And this one was basically um, criticizing the city of Bonn's traffic department because it was just basically roadworks everywhere. So all car drivers were sitting, um, sitting in road blocks and traffic jams all day long in the city center. And all the people who were using public transport, the trams, um, they were having a whale of a time and laughing about it. So this tune was called the Bunch of Bimmel, Bimmel Ban being an old fashioned word for the tram. And um, the bimmel being basically the, um, the, the bells, yeah? So I think we need the bells, don't we? And um, this was what we came up with. So if you want to grab yourself a pint of best German beer or more uh, and start swaying along to this, it's an old waltz in B-flat and it's rather good fun. See what you think.
Ah, and like I said, I can't unfortunately remember the words, but the most important feature of this melody, and it's one that you, it became quite popular, it, it, we actually had, we got it recorded, we got the, uh, the local symphony orchestra recorded it, um, which was absolutely great fun. I arranged it for the whole orchestra, and um, we spent a day at the Vede Air, that's a sort of like the, the local version of the BBC, I suppose, and uh, the orchestra was rehearsing and we sort of, we went in, we had all the music ready, they rehearsed it, we recorded it and it was produced and arranged and all that kind of thing and Matthias sang the music and um, there was a wonderful video made about it. I must see if we can still find it, it's probably on YouTube somewhere. And, um, but um, we came up with a spontaneous idea that because mainly these carnival songs are sung during, well, periods of high alcohol consumption. So you forget the words, so you have to have a la 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 That's the idea, you sort of la 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 along to everything. And it became very popular, so there you are. Um, for, a, for, a, for a while, that tune paid the rent. Um, but sadly, as these things are, it's, you know, sort of um, one-hit wonders, as it were, and that was the end of that. Mm. Anyway, there you are. So there's a little piece of wonderful, exciting carnival music for you. Now, Vanessa says I'm shouting too much. It's because I've got my headphones on and because Vanessa has very sensitive hearing. Oh, it was red, was it? It was going red. Is it still going red? I shall move my microphone down. Hold on. <laughs> Vanessa says she's going to go deaf listening to me. Anyway, I've always been loud. Anyway, now, Scottish tunes being stolen for carnival purposes. Here you go. This is a very, very famous melody, and it I don't care what anyone says, it is originally a Scottish melody. The middle part was added to by Germans. Um, but like I say, you know, a lot of old traditional Scottish melodies stolen and uh, rehashed for the purposes. But this one is a very famous one, I think you will agree. It's been requested many, many times and I try to play it occasionally. It was also one of my grandmother's favorite tunes.
Highland Cathedral, otherwise known as Du bist der Stadt, where Du bist die Stadt, which uh, Du bist die Stadt, um, which is another one of the Cologne tunes, uh, tunes specially stolen and repurposed for Cologne Carnival, which is great fun. I just spotted in the chat on the way past our friend Michael T Michael Thielen, Michael Thielen, who's here in the chat today, was at the service last night. Why didn't you come up to the organ and say hello, hello? I didn't know. I don't know what Michael Thielen looks like, you see. I have to think now. Were you the guy, when I walked from the sacristy up to the organ, were you the guy who said hello to me on the way past? Gosh. Uh, I'm so, you should have come up to the organ and said, hello, it's me, and then I would have known. <laughs> That's cool. If you come and visit me at the church in Herschbach, then say hello, you know, come and say hello. Tell me who you are, for heaven's sake. Uh, it'd be great. It'd be great. Um, years, ago, years ago, some guy sort of turned up at the church and then sort of stood at the door and watched. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Michael said, I disappeared quite quickly afterwards. That's true, actually, because the church was absolutely packed, absolutely packed, hundreds of people. And, um, and um, after the service, all the, sort of the carnival people in all their costumes, they went up to the front of the church to the altar to have a picture taken. And there were probably at least, I don't know, Michael, what would you say, 60 or 70 of them at least. And at the moment, the church is having a new roof put on it. So the main doors, the west doors, the main doors are closed. So everyone has to squeeze through the side door to the church. So I took my opportunity. And as I saw that the uh, crowd was dissipating, I sneaked out the side door and buggered off as fast as I possibly could, which is very exciting. However, because yesterday was also the first time ever I got a medal, a medal of honor yesterday from the, carnival, the local Carnival Society of Herschbach for my services to carnival music. Color a laugh. There you are. Now that's exciting. That, that's the first time in eight years. Uh, I've been doing this for years in the church and this is the first time they have recognized my services by giving me a medal. Isn't that exciting? Here's another one we played during... This It's not all carnival music tonight, by the way, but I'm just, we're doing a sort of a carnival night because... Secretly, I love the music. I think it's absolutely wonderful fun, and it's definitely good fun. For the Gloria last night, <laughs> during the service, can you believe this? Or was it, was it? Yes, it was during the Gloria, I think, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, normally, you would sing sort of one of those, you know, big, fancy German hymns for the Gloria, for the glory, glory thing, but um, we didn't. We sang this. Um, and I played this on Friday night, but let's do it again because it's just so much fun. I have the proper music for it tonight. Um, it's called Let's Leave the Cathedral in Cologne. Merlossen der Dom und Gulle. Okay? Gulle a laugh. So, here we go. If you're from Cologne or from around Cologne, like Michael, for example, then um, sing along.
<laughs> Beg your pardon? Uh, we need a Hammond organ for that. Ah, uh, my cotton, my cotton, my cotton, my cotton. Um, once, when you finish a piece of music in the carnival uh, tradition, and the next thing is about to happen, so you finish your piece of music like this. fanfare like which always takes you to a different key and that signals to the audience oh better pay attention something's about to happen and at any point during the evening's proceedings at one of these carnival parties if someone says something really funny or if something if someone says something really important the band in the background will go and play a fanfare a tush as it's called yes you need a psh, you need a symbol for that so yes there you are. Isn't that fun? Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Right, are we going to do more carnival music? Do, people, uh, do you enjoy carnival music? Are you enjoying yourselves with all this crazy, wonderful carnival music? I'm going to play one more now, and then maybe some more later. Um, this is actually one of my favourite ones, he said, trying to find out. Ah, here we are. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? How many medals would I like? How many medals would I like? I would like? I would like at least one medal for every year of service I have had on the organ. There you are. How about that? How about that? No, I don't. No, no, no. I don't. I, 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 don't, I don't care about things like that. I really don't. Because um, um, I firmly believe that if you are a musician in a church or in a band or whatever, you have... You have, you have a service to provide. And you can be as big-headed as you want in private life, but when you're, you know, when you're doing your service, then you are performing your service. And um, to expect, to expect you know, that kind of reward, um, you know, sort of, here, you did well, here, have a medal, to expect it is, um, is a bit presumptuous. But, uh, you know, f when it's offered and when it comes, then I am always very grateful for that. And um, I'm actually very proud in that moment. Um, it means that you have finally, you've actually done something that, you know, made someone think, oh, yes, he did a good job there. And that's rather nice as well. But, yes, one shouldn't expect that kind of uh, recognition. Not necessarily. Anyway. So, CBE, KBE or OBE. Um, Joe, one does not need that kind of recognition. <clears throat> Cheers. <laughs> but yes. It's quite fun. Years ago, hundreds, well, let's say 100, 150 years ago, if you were, let's say, a cathedral organist or you were a big composer or something like that, then it was kind of expected that at some point you would you'd be knighted by the king or queen or whoever it was at the time. And you would become Sir something or other, Sir Edward Elgar, Sir Von Williams, Sir Ralph Von Williams, Sir, did he, was he? Yes, he was. Um, Sir Benjamin Britten, all that kind of stuff, yeah? And um, in this day and age, in this day and age, there's a lot of that still around. A lot of the younger generation still think they're going to get that kind of recognition one day. Um, doesn't quite work like that anymore. Let's think. Our friend Wayne Marshall, for example, Wayne Marshall, you know, one of the one of the most amazing organists, concert organists, ex Windsor Royal Chapel organist, all that kind of thing. You know, Wayne was recognised in the Queen's Honours list a couple of years ago with the OBE. Was it an OBE or an MBE? Oh God, I hope I don't get that wrong, but definitely a sort of a British Empire award and things like that. Sadly, not a knighthood. Maybe a hundred years ago, that could have been a knighthood, but things are changing. Anyway, anyway, we're not here to talk about the British um, Royal Awards system. Um, this is, believe it or not, my favourite carnival tune. I love playing this. It's a, it's a lovely tune. And again, it's one of those waltzy, waltzy, schumkel leader. So grab your partner by the elbow, lock your elbows, get your pint in the free hand, and then schunkel along to this. It's called Mensch wie mir, which translates as people like us. A 
that's far too fast. I was thinking of my own tune there. I'm sorry about that. It should be much slower than that. This is even later at night when people have had much more to drink and they're getting in that sort of schmoozy mood. <laughs> Okay, okay, there you are, men, shame, be here. <laughs> Vanessa said I should sing a carnival song tonight. I don't know if that's a good idea because I'm not very good at doing a carnival accent. I don't know. What do you think? Shall we put it to a poll? Shall you do, do you want to do a poll? Okay, Vanessa's going to do a poll and you all have to answer. And before you answer, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up on the way past because that's very important. That lets YouTube... No, no, no. That, <laughs> that lets you... Well, you can do that in the poll then. You can say no in the poll. Say no in the poll. Right, now, hold on. Um, 
We have had a small number of requests for this evening. By the way, if you're sending us requests, try to send them in advance. Um, um, we're trying to sort of move away from the completely spontaneous, especially difficult music, yeah? The spontaneous, oh my God, here it is kind of thing now. I want to practice things in advance. So if you can send it at least 24 hours in advance, that would be wonderful. For example, the Brown Book of Magnificence. Our friend Gleiswanderer, you will notice Gleiswanderer is not in the chat tonight. Gleiswanderer has to work. He is at the sinful world of work and um, cannot get away. But he might be listening in secret, but he cannot be in the chat. He has to, he has a very, 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 very stressful and very important job. A bigger pardon? Question and oh, we can do Q and A now. Okay, Vanessa, you do your thing and I'll do my thing. <laughs> uh, but Gleiswanderer sent in advance um, a request. You see, so um, and, and he will catch up on the stream when he's finished working, and uh, we will we will see. Now this is again a kind of melody that might actually not be out of place during the carnival season. It's again a rather lovely waltz tune. Let's calm things down a little bit and see what we got on here. This is number forty in the Brown Book of Absolute Magnificence.
wow, what an amazing melody. That could be, I think we could change the words to that. That could become a carnival hit, don't you think? Ah, I like that. I like that a lot. That was number 40 in the Brown Book of Magnificence. Unseren Weg zum Erfolg machen. Have we not had that already? That rings a bell. That rings a bell. Wonderful, though. Absolutely wonderful. So, Gleiswanderer, that was for you tonight. Let's hope all of our paths in life lead to success. That's basically what that meant. That's basically what that meant. Right then, let's have a bit of fun. Um, let's have a bit of fun. We're having fun anyway, aren't we? Are we having fun tonight? Have you put the poll out? Is the po I can't see the poll, you see. Huh? I beg how many? 85% say yes and 15% then say no. Right, okay. If the 15% of people who said no, um, I don't know. If they provide us with 500,000 euros of donations tonight, then I will honour you no and not sing. <laughs> how about that? That's a good idea, isn't it? Shall we do that? That would be cheeky, wouldn't it? That would be cheeky. Now then, I told you about the Scottish connection to carnival music. Well, there's more than that. There's one band, they dress up in Scottish costumes. And um, they have some very famous tunes, one of which is basically just, basically just a circle of fifths. So let's play around with the circle of fifths.
piece of music simply called Hallelujah. And it's not the, it's not the awful, mopey, depressed Hallelujah sung by Leonard Cohen. It's the, it's the Brings Hallelujah. Uh, that's the band, Brings. The Brings Brothers. Um, Stefan Brings and who's the other guy called? Is it Peter? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, and that's a hallelujah. And that's the, ha that's the hallelujah we used at the service last night. <laughs> Can you believe that? Crazy stuff. Yes. Right. What's going on in the background, Mrs. G? How many people in the poll now? Um, I didn't ask even the mother. Someone asked if you are. Still 85%. 85% want a song. Oh, dear Lord. Shall we wait for later in the evening? How are ticket sales this evening, Vanessa? Schlecht. Oh, really? Okay, schlecht is a German word for not good. Bad, in fact. Um, we, oh, what's this? Oh, the, yes, oh, this came in the other day. Yes, this is all right. Yes, we know this. All right, we can do that. <laughs> um, definitely, that's fun. Um, it's in the wrong key, but never mind, that's fine. <laughs> we can definitely try this. Um, yeah, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you can help us out, help us out um, by buying us a virtual concert ticket, putting a virtual tip in the, in the jar, as it were, putting a penny in the jukebox, whatever you want to call it. Um, do consider helping us out. Don't forget, without you and without your generous support, none of this would be possible. Um, you're basically keeping us going, <laughs> kind of thing. So, yes, so please, please, please consider helping us out. Very, very grateful to you for that. So thank you very much indeed in advance. Very good. Now, this is a request that... Who did this come in from? Dominic oh, this is from our friend Dominic. Oh, Dominic always has some good requests. And this is, this is basically a boogie-woogie, would you believe it? This is basically a boogie-woogie piece of music. And it sounds good fun on the organ. I don't think I've ever played this before. I really don't think I have. I wonder, can we make it sound like the original? Let's see if we can make it sort of sound. Mm, we might get away with it. That's not sounding much like the original so far, is it? Nor is that. I think we need some... There's something too big there. There it is. Something there that shouldn't be there. There we are. We need... Ah, hold on. Ah, now we're getting there. How about this one as well? Yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? That sounds slightly better. Cameron's already worked out what it is. Yeah, we need to get a clarinetti sound. That would be a... Sort of that would be a nice clarinet, wouldn't it? And this... Yeah, that's going to work.
something like that. The baby elephant walks. Sadly, sadly, the, the, there was only three pages of score there, and it wasn't all of it. I thought there was going to be more. That lovely middle bit was missing, so I had to sort of busk that. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. Yes, um, let's see if we can find more. Find more of that, the pr a proper version of it. I once had an orchestra years ago, and we did this, we did this, and we had to get, we had to get a clarinetist who could play an E-flat clarinet. Now, a normal clarinet is a B-flat clarinet, which is this thing, you know, from here. That thing from, you know, whatever. What's it called? Rhapsody in Blue. And the E-flat clarinet is a fourth higher than that, and it's an absolute pig of a thing to play, apparently, but... Henry Mancini wanted an E-flat clarinet for his baby elephant walk. And trying to get a clarinet player to play an E-flat clarinet, it was like... <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to say that. It was like... Yes. Like getting one of my old friends to buy me a drink. It's it, almost impossible, was the word. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we need, to, uh, we need to get the proper version of that. That would definitely be good fun. Right, what's that? I beg your pardon? <laughs> we went out for a lovely dinner on Valentine's Day. Just stop saying that. Everyone's going to think I'm some sort of emotionless ogre. Every day in the Gaucho household, psht, every day in the Gaucho household is Valentine's Day. And uh, on Valentine's Day, I had a choir rehearsal. We came I came home from the choir rehearsal, picked up Vanessa, put Shiloh in the boot of the car, because we can't leave him alone at the moment, really. Um, we put him in the boot of the car and we went off out for pizza. So there you are. That's how romantic, that's how romantic we are. Right, this came in the other day. This was um, for... This is how far back we are in, in schedule. This was for Valentine's Day. Who's this? Yellow bird? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's play it as a very sort of sloppy number. This is going to be... We're going to have copyright hell tonight. I just know this already. Whenever you play carnival music, modern music, German pop music of any description, um, and film music of any description, you get copyright claimed everything. Um, which is really good. On Friday night, now Friday, remember Friday night, we played some toccatas, remember Friday night? We played the, what was it, the Bélier. How did it go after that? It didn't do that, something like that. The Bélier toccata, which was obviously written a very, very, very long time ago. Mr. Bellier died in 1938, so his music is public domain. And I also played something by... by Buxtehude, Dietrich Buxtehude, who died, God knows when, 17-something. And um, I got copyright claimed on both of those. So it just goes to show sometimes they don't get it right. Um, <laughs> Sometimes they don't get it right. So anyway, but tonight's going to be... Remember we did Mary Poppins of Disney not that long ago. Everything got a copyright claim. Every piece of music I played got a copyright claim. About an hour and a half after the live stream, you get emails with your copyright claims. And that night we got, I think we got 18 copyright claims. It's the most we've ever had. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, right, let's disguise this as much as we possibly can and um, turn it into a sort of romantic ballad, which it kind of is. The composer of this piece of music is 10 minutes younger than my dad. There you are. There's a useless piece of information for you. He's 10 minutes younger than my dad. Anyway. <laughs>
Anyone recognize it? Rod Stewart. You're in my heart. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Nice and slow, nice and sensual. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, Rod Stewart and my dad are exactly the same age. If you saw them together now, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not saying anything. But yeah, there you are. Thank you very much, Yellow Bird. That was good fun. I hope you recognised it. I tried to hide it as much as possible, but you have to keep the melody in there so we know what's going on. All right, Vanessa has disappeared. Throw guard, sure. I see. She had to go down and keep an eye on the dog. Right. Let's have a fun piece of carnival music, shall we? This is a great fun one. This is back to the old... This is back to the... Um, Back to those kinds of things. So we need to get the organ all beefed up again. Let's have, well, let's have some big French. I love this organ. This is the organ in Billerbeck again, as you saw from the picture. And Billerbeck has this amazing swell division with these great big swell reeds. Here's the swell reeds on their own. Get rid of all that tosh there. Swell reeds on their own. <laughs> and something it has, actually, it has en chamade reeds. Those are those big horizontal reeds that sit on top of the organ and deafen the, or uh, deafen the orchestra, deafen the uh, punters. And I'm not sure if they are on the real organ, but on this organ they are enclosed, which means I can do this. <laughs> So I have this dialogue between 16, 8 and 4 reeds. I've got it here on the solo division. And then the swell reeds. Yeah, but I can open up the big reeds here. Suddenly the swell reeds sound very gentle. I can close the swell box. And the swell reeds are miles away. And open it. Pretty good, eh? And then close the shamads and gradually open them.
Oh, we have a surprise. There you are. Now, that's another example of a traditional old melody. You recognize the melody, don't you? It's a traditional melody. And that's been turned into a carnival hit for the world of Cologne again. Most of these songs were written in Cologne or for Cologne bands and things like that. Now, we have a surprise for you from... Who does? Wolfgang König, our friend Wolfgang König. He has sent us a picture. Now, I don't know what this is. This is a picture of... Oh, this is another carnival tradition. It's all about dressing up and having fun. And um, one of the traditions is you get a bunch of guys together, a bunch of guys that you would never expect to do something like this. You get them together and they, they, they learn a choreography and they have a sort of a, a, a mena ballet, a man, a male ballet. And they get together and dance in the most... Well, baby elephant walk, I think, would probably be the best way to put it. Um, and they're very famous for doing this. Now, some of these groups, I've seen some local groups do this. And, you know, we're talking the local yokels, the local firemen, the local, you know, the local farmers, the local firemen, the local, the local lads, basically. They get together and study uh, this a ballet move and then perform it during the carnival season. And it always gets a good laugh. So let's have a look at Wolfgang Koenig and his Mena Ballet. Three, two, one, Kalik. Oh my God, that's Wolfgang Koenig. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our friend Wolfgang Koenig dressed up, yes, dressed up in a rather feminine looking costume and obviously enjoying himself while he's doing it. So there you are. But the, this is the kind of things that everyone, everyone around the world thinks that Germans are perfectly normal people and do perfectly normal things. Um, and that's definitely not the case. You get people like Wolfgang, a perfectly normal down-to-earth guy, dressing up in these very bizarre costumes. Good heavens, look at the legs, wow. Um, doing all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, there you are, going crazy. So, during carnival season, anything can happen. Well, here's another thing I probably shouldn't say, but shall we say, nine months after carnival is over, there are quite a lot of births in this part of the world. Let's put it like that. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Exciting stuff. Right. Right. I think it's time. Yes, it is. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, to switch to the theatre organ world. There we go. Theatre organ world. And I promised, or well, I didn't promise actually, you decided that I would sing a song. Is that correct? How many? 81%. Did you hear that in the background? That was Vanessa's knee making contact with the desk. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. So, how are we doing on tickets, Mrs. G? Are we getting there slowly but surely? Ooh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Keep us in food and drink. <laughs> Put some pennies in the tip jar. Help us out. We, oops, oops, I'm dripping water all over my organ. That's probably not a good idea. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we're getting there. Oh, by the way, we solved the mystery of our, remember on Friday night, we had a sort of internet disaster. Well, it turned out storms outside, and the storms outside actually just literally di dissolved, basically, all the, um, all the, um, yeah, that'll do. Um, all the sort of internet and telephone connections around here went crazy. But because the Deutsche Telekom, because they work so efficiently, um, we were only down for about 45 seconds in total. So that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shall we do it? Shall I sing a song? Shall I sing a song? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sing a song. <clears throat> now, Probably quite loud. Yeah, this could be loud, but never mind. Is that good? I think we'll do it in a different key. Yeah, that's better. F minor. When I used to play in jazz bands, occasionally I would be forced out to the front of the stage and made to sing songs. I hated doing it at the time. However, you know me, always, always aim to please. You know, I love that expression, we aim to please. And then in gentlemen's restrooms around the world, it says, we aim to please, you aim to 
please. I think that's quite good, don't you get it? Anyway. <clears throat> Joe was talking about royal things earlier on, and I spotted Nancy saying things like His Majesty King Charles. Well, well, I'm, I'm as happy as a king. Any idea what this is going to be? Feeling good and everything. Let's go. I'm as happy as a king, feeling good and everything. I'm just like a bird in spring, you can let me out. It's my baby, can't you guess? I'm wild about her, I confess. Oh boy, yeah, baby, do do do. It's time you hear you shout. Everybody loves my baby, but my baby don't love nobody but me. Nobody but me. Everybody wants my baby, but my baby don't want nobody but me. That's plain to see. Now she's got legs like Venus, baby. Woo, you should see the size. No one can come between them. That's wrong, isn't it? You should see those thighs. Now everybody wants my baby, but my baby don't want nobody but me. Nobody but me. Organ happening. loves my baby but my baby don't love nobody but me <laughs> Vanessa in the background is going mm -hmm. <laughs> there you are an old number um, I beg your pardon I beg your pardon you're joking Hat er die E-Mail geschrieben oder im Chat? Oh my God! In English or in German? Ich glaube, in Englisch hat er das geschrieben. Yeah? Oh, apparently I start singing and... Oh, he wrote it in German. Our friend Bodenseehorn. Friend Bodenseehorn. While I was singing that number, his cat, his heavily pregnant cat, started giving birth and three kittens are out already. So there you are. Maybe I should sing more. 
and we'll get lots of lots more baby cats in the world. There you are. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on your baby cats, Mr. Bodensehorn. They're not all there. Well, they're, no, of course not. There's only three. My goodness me. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what on earth do you have me doing? This is the first time I've heard it in tune. Was that in tune? Well, if you say so, Keith, thank you very much. There were a lot of jazz tunes in those days that were written in these minor keys. And then the circle of fifths. And they do that kind of things. And they're taken from old Yiddish melodies. Bet you didn't know that. Here's another one. It's called I've Found a New Baby. Basically the same song. I don't know the words though. It's called I Found a New Baby. And it sounds, I think we need a piano for this one actually. Let's turn this into Fats Waller, shall we? Uh, let's do a Fats Waller number. I Found a New Baby. This is good fun as well. Basically the same pattern, uh, just a different middle bit. <laughs> found a new baby. There you are. And there's another one that goes like that which everybody recognises. It's Happy Feet. <laughs> it's, it's Matt Leach's birthday today. Matt Leach's birthday today. Matt Leach, why didn't you tell us in advance? We would have had a huge birthday surprise ready for you. <gasps> Matt Leach, it's his birthday. 
his 67th birthday. Are you really that old? Good heavens. I thought Matt Leach was much younger than that. Anyway, that's a compliment, obviously. Let's sing happy birthday for Matt Leach, everybody. Happy birthday, Matt Leach. We have to do it like that, don't we? Yeah, let's sing happy birthday for Matt Leach. Congratulations, Matt. Wonderful. <laughs> Happy birthday, Matt. Hope you had a good one or are having a good one. Wonderful stuff. Yes. I'm exhausted tonight. It's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. We're exhausted. Now, the Gartshaw Gang, you're a wonderful bunch. You really are a wonderful bunch. And over the years, you have become not only the Gartshaw Gang, but our friends, our real friends, our true friends. Now, you know where this is going, of course. This again. <laughs> A wonderful piece of carnival music. A wonderful piece of carnival music. Uh, it's called Echte Freunde or Echte Freund, Freunde, if you want to do it in the proper pronunciation. Um, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, fun piece of music. Sing along if you know the words. If you don't, la 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 along. You'll get it quickly enough. Echte Freunde. Okay. Real friends stick together is basically what it's all about. So, I'm dedicating this to all of you out there in Gartshaw Gang world. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, perfect. Ha, ah, there we are. Isn't that fun? La, 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 la. I love that kind of stuff. When you get, I'm not a big drinker at all anymore. Um, and in the days when I lived in Bonn and Cologne, um, I, I would sometimes join in in carnival. I wasn't the greatest um, carnival celebrator out there. Um, I just never understood this sort of, right, it's carnival, you have to have fun now. This, this forced, uh, we will force you to have fun during carnival. And that's what it feels like sometimes. It's not like that all over the place, obviously. Um, but it is a bit sort of, it can be a bit over the top. But when, you know, when these songs start going and everyone starts really singing along and you've had, you know, three or four jars of the good stuff, um, it is good fun. But as you get older, <laughs> You realize there are more important things in life, like a beautiful lady by your side. For example. <sighs> she always does that. She always does that. <laughs> Typical bloody woman. She always does that. You know, I, I, give, I put a compliment in her direction, yeah? A lovely compliment in her direction. And then she sort of says, is this because you've got a bad conscience because you didn't buy me a Valentine's present? Typical, isn't it? Why can't she just sort of say, yes, darling, I love you too? Oh, did you hear that? She said it in English as well. Right, what's this? I beg your pardon, say that again in English. The beer barrel polka. Yeah, this is definitely... Who, uh, was, this, was this requested for tonight? Yeah, was this a request for tonight? Yeah. Oh, good timing. Good timing. Good timing. Yes, this is definitely one. This is one that's definitely... Um, thank you, Andrew. I see some, um, my iPad is working again tonight and I see the occasional ticket coming in. So thank you very much, Andrew, who just bought us a little ticket there. Um, I haven't seen any, many more until now tonight, so thank you very much. If I see your name pop up on the screen, I will say thank you. Yes, this one is definite. It's an old German tune anyway. I'm not sure if it's German, actually. I suspect, I suspect it's not actually German. Oh, I'm not sure exactly who wrote, but it's definitely one that uh, is, you hear it during carnival from time to time, and um, it's definitely good fun. Who requested this? This is probably, is this Cam or Joe? One of, one of Cam. It had to be one, one or other of you. Um, so definitely, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, sing along. Sing along if you know the words. Basically, roll out the barrel.
roll out the barrel. You never hear anyone sing that in a posh voice, do you? It's always roll out the barrel. It's always sort of old Cockney kind of stuff, isn't it? Chaz and Dave. If you don't know who Chaz and Dave are, don't bother looking them up. A couple of old Cockney lads doing Cockney style music with pianos and things. Good fun, actually. Fun stuff. There you are. Roll out the barrel. Thank you very much indeed. That was a lovely little number. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Our final piece of carnival music for this evening. We're getting towards the end, ladies and gentlemen, of this evening's celebrations. It's all about let's get together and have a party. And it's called, come on, let's have a party. But, of course, in Gulsh. In Gulsh. So it's called, Cum los mea fire is exactly how it's written here. Very bizarre. And this is by a band called Die Hörner. Die Hörner. Um, yes, wonderful stuff. Komm los, Mafia. This is great fun. And this is how we started. Is this how we started, Michel? Is this how we started the service last night? Um, we definitely sung this one last night. It's a wonderful piece of music.
How about that? That's one of, that's another one of my favorites. There is the most amazing parallel fifth in there. If you're into your music harmony and you have um, a parallel fifth, but I cheat and do this. Ah, that's better. Uh, that's just basic sort of um, basic harmonic language there. But yeah, isn't that good fun? Now, who'd have thought that a concert of music on a church and theatre organ could have involved Kölsch Karneval Musik? Who? who? Someone's asking for Bach tonight. Joe. Bach. Joe. Joe is asking for Bach. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not tonight, Joe. Tell you what, we'll do some. I'll put up a Bach piece during the week. How about that? During the week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for this evening. I hope you have had a pleasant Sunday night with us together. We've had a fun time. It's been quite warm up here. Um, definitely need definitely need some fresh air in this room soon i'll get to that oh thank you nancy nancy bought a little ticket thank you very much nancy it's very kind of you very kind of you indeed thank you so thank you again for your support thank you for your thumbs up on the way past thank you for being part of the garchor gang and thank you for not miss behaving. We haven't had this for a long time. This is always a, a request. This creeps up all the time. Everyone likes requesting this one. Let's finish with Ain't Misbehaving from our friend Fats Waller and then segue into the Bye Bye Blues on the way past. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. See you through the week. If we don't see you through the week, we'll see you through our window. That's all I would say, and I ain't either, and I ain't either. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. That was Sunday night is organ music night. Vanessa says thank you. <laughs> Vanessa's yawning in the background. Vanessa needs to get to bed. Vanessa's tired. Yeah. Poor Vanessa's been spending all week working on an essay for the university. She's been sitting at her computer, tippy tapping away in the corner, swearing and cursing that she can't get it <laughs> done. But I think is it finished now? Oh, okay. Tomorrow is the final day. She has to put the finishing touches to it tomorrow and then she can hand it in and then it's out of the way. Thank goodness for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. That was Sunday night as organ music night. Thank you very much for being a wonderful Garchor gang. 
See you soon. Thank you.